Ugh, how much longer am I gonna be in detention for? What? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! <sighs> and I guess the teacher isn't here either. Where could he be? Well, I guess I have plenty of time to think about that. Or, I could just wrangle the Baldi's basics items. With how fast Baldi can get in these games, beating these challenges would be more than impossible without the help of items. Items that push, items that cut, and even some items that you eat. There are tons of these suckers and they are still being added to the game, but as of plus update 0.3.8, there are only 17. I say only, but that is quite a lot of them. So why don't you join me doing time while I figure out which is the best and which is the worst items from the Baldi's Basics franchise. Also, if you're confused right now, that's probably because this is part two of my Baldi's ranking series. I ranked all the characters last time, so make sure you go watch that video first, or you might be a little confused when I don't say something obvious that I've already brought up there. As for rules, well, the only one I got is that it has to go into your inventory up here, so no sticks or furniture. Those aren't really items in my opinion, they're more like props. I don't think it's even a contest here. The worst item is the principal's whistle. Don't worry, I'm coming. Hi, I'm Johnny. Welcome to my store. Need instant justice? Blow this whistle and the principal of the thing will come to your aid as quickly as he can. While I do realize that Plus isn't a finished game yet, I can't see much that they can do to make this an actually useful item. The only thing it does is call the principal of the thing to your location. Like, I assume you're supposed to use it to get rid of the bully, but he already takes an item from you, so using an item to get rid of a character who already takes an item from you makes no sense. I mean, this way you don't lose a good item, but why waste a slot for this? You can just get another item? I don't know, maybe you all at home can think of a better use for this thing, and maybe it even helped you out once or twice. But I can't think of a single time that this item helped me. In fact, I feel like more often than not, I use this item and then get busted for running a few seconds later because the principal of the thing is now closer to me. This item appears in Classic as well, but only in the Null style. If you really go out of your way here and grab it, it instantly sends Null to you at high speeds to end your game. Why? I mean, I assume it's just a troll, but like, who would even risk a run to grab it? This item sucks, and unless a new character is added that the principal of the thing can target, this red piece of crap will stay at the bottom of my list. Well, or at least that voice line's funny. Coming. I'm honestly not sure if this is an unpopular opinion, but the WD No Squeeze is an awful item with a terrible use case. Tired of noises giving your location away? WD No Squeeze can solve your problem, sprite on a door or locker to make it silent. This bottle of brown liquid slicks up a door or a locker so it doesn't make a sound when you enter it. It's a one-time use, but the door stays squeed for four openings. Which sounds good, but when do you ever go back to a room you've already been to in these games? Maybe Mrs. Pomp, but that's completely random as to which room she actually picks. I know that the idea is to spray it on a door and then hide inside so Baldi enters wander mode, but if you're playing classic, you can just hide in this hallway which has a consistent escape route. If Baldi randomly decides to check that room, you're completely fucked. Especially since you'd only ever really want to do this late game, and he'll be way too fast for you to juke. And using it to hide in blue lockers is honestly worse, but in general the blue lockers are just kinda terrible, so. Like I mentioned last time, a bunch of new items were added in that big classic update along with first prize. One was even made to combat him. No, 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 not not that one. Yep, that's the one. The big old boots. Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep. These big old boots will help keep your feet on the ground, prevent you from getting pushed by characters and obstacles found around the school. When used, the big old boots will make it so that you can't be pushed by anything. So in the original update, that means gotta sweep in first prize. So yeah, this thing is easily the worst item from the original classic. First prize pushing you is generally a good thing, and why would you waste an item slot carrying this thing around just in case either of them want to shove you into Baldi? And if you just use it right away, it only lasts 15 seconds, so it literally isn't worth it for even that. But in Plus and Demo Style, one very important character came along to actually give them a bit of a use case. Cloudy Copter. When you wear the boots, you can walk right through its wind. It also makes it so whirlpools and competitor belts can't move you. Sure, these aren't the most annoying scenarios in the game, and the 15 seconds still makes it completely useless to carry around. But maybe in plus I can see justifying it if it wasn't only available on floor one. 
Conveyor belts can't even spawn on floor one! Yet another classic update addition, and just like the last one, it was pretty much useless. Honestly, maybe more so. The alarm clock. Set this clock up, and when it goes off, Baldi will want to check it out. Unless he sees you, of course. He's not that stupid. For this item to work completely, you need to have Baldi in Wander Mode, be in a hiding spot, and have a maximum of 60 seconds to get prepared. Just run away, man! Yeah, I'm really sorry about this one. I know it's a popular choice with high-level players, but in any place I can find a use for it, the better option is always to just run away. This is one of the made items I just never go for, which makes this room probably my least visited, and when I get them in party, I use them right away and then just leave. It's just not worth it for all the setup it requires. In plus, it was updated so that you could set it for the time that you want it to go off, which does make it a little bit better, but I'm still pretty much never going to use it when I already have a zesty bar and can just, you know, hide in that zigzag hallway. I did learn while researching that while Bali is heading for it, he will ignore most sounds that the player makes until he gets to it, which can be useful if you have the time to set it up and wait for it to go off so you can pass one door without Baldi hearing you, but at that point just use a no squee, I can't believe I just said that. Well that use definitely makes it better than the big old boots, I'm still only going to use the clock a second after I grab it. I genuinely have no idea how to introduce this item. The principal's keys. When will you learn? No escaping detention in the halls. Break all the rules you want with the principal's keys. Use them to open any locked door, even ones that haven't been locked by the principal of the thing. This one might seem weird as it sounds really good letting you escape from detention early, but then you realize the timer is still on screen and before you know it, your parents will hear about this one. And BAM! Even more detention time! I mean, think about how fast this guy is. If the timer is over 30 seconds, he's probably just gonna catch you eventually. And if you're really good at baldies, you'll probably only get caught once or twice in a game. Okay, well, how about the first 15 seconds? Well, if you escape right away, you'll just get caught instantly, so you'll have to wait a bit anyway. Making it all seem kinda... Pointless, especially since it takes up an item slot. Of course, it can also help you escape from chocles, but... It's chocles. Okay, I did forget to mention that if you use the principal's keys to escape Noel's room in the basement ending, you can go to the library and see this funny Family Guy easter egg. It might be dumb to say this, but a cute little thing like that is definitely enough to raise the spot of an item. Yeah, there's no contest for me now. The principal's keys are definitely better than the alarm clock. Baldi, look out! I put it above the other items as I'm sure the principal keys are great for newcomers and in plus I'd still probably pick this up every once in a while, but classic? Hell no! Just save your slots for an actual escape, not an evasive backup plan. Although, now that I think about it, those would have been really useful right about now. Yet another item that's only purpose is to help you hide, and it might just be the most worthless one yet, for dealing with Baldi. In fact, it's Baldi's least favorite item. I. I mean tape. It, it, it's probably just fair tape. This tape was carefully designed by a student to effectively make Baldi deaf as long as it plays. If you can hear the tone, you can make as much noise as you want, worry free. Originally called the Baldi Anti Hearing and Disorienting Tape, bit of a mouthful. It can be inserted into a tape player for 30 seconds and it stops Baldi from being able to track your sounds. This sounds amazing! You have to put it in the tape player that's in the principal's office, which requires you to open a door or get detention, which captures Baldi's attention. And sure, he will lose you soon after that, but if he walks by the office, which because of the sounds before he likely currently is, there's a good chance that he'll check in there anyway. The next reason this thing sucks is that it only lasts 30 seconds. Are you kidding me? That's not enough time at all! Even on your first attention, that's half of your time gone! For example, you can hardly make it from the office to this room to get a notebook and then to the cafeteria in that time. Sure, that's a free notebook, but you also need to have not collected it already and be near the office with the item in your inventory. Huh? Oh, that was a ridiculously specific example for me to give? Well, yeah, that's because it's the best route for Null Style, which almost requires you to use the tape. Which is the only reason why this thing isn't any lower. Null is ruthless, even at the very beginning of the game, so you pretty much have to use the tape to make any distance from him. Luckily for you, it's always in this room right next to the starting point, making it very convenient to go right to the principal's office. And yes, in the extremely specific scenario where I know exactly where the tape is and I'm already going in that direction and he's pretty much right behind me, 
Sure, it's useful for getting away from Baldi, but like, when the hell is that gonna naturally happen? If you could use it whenever you wanted, hell yeah, it might be the best item in the game, but nope. Now that's pretty much all I have to say about the tape, but I do want to add something here because I don't know when the hell I'm ever going to have a chance to talk about this again. Only in the 1.0 version of this game, the tape would not just play a random annoying noise, but one of five Phone Guy-esque tutorial tapes. These are incredibly awkward, but very fascinating, and I am very happy they aren't in the game. Uh, at least anymore, I don't even know why they were in that version in the first place as they were very unnecessary and by the time you actually got to listen to one, you've already met all the characters mentioned here and you could piece together how they work just fine. But I'm glad we were at least able to listen to them. It feels like I'm in an alternate universe where this game had a weird phone guy tutorial system. <laughs> I don't want to waste too much of your time here listening to them, so here's a few of my highlights from the voice lines, and then we'll get back to the items. If you're hearing this, then there's still a chance. Okay, uh, I'll, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, the principal of the thing, the, the creepy guy, he's like sliding around. Walk past, stay cool, and um, stay cool. Playtime, the, the little girl with, with the jump rope. Um, sometimes, if you're lucky, she'll trip, which is that's good run away while you can get get the jumps get them good get them real great you know if he picks up like baldy or something you better you better run he keeps the place clean too which is nice that's about all that's really that nice about everything here going on can't really oh my gosh hold on i gotta go first quarter done already this is going by a lot quicker than i thought don't make me do this again uh hey, hey there I want your candy. Uh, sorry man, I don't have any candy. What? No items. Great. Great. Oh. Uh, okay, well, I guess you can have the rest of my zesty bar. I mean, we are kind of in here for the same thing, so why not? I'll take that. Thanks for the generous donation. Yeah, no problem. We gotta wait out this stupid time together, so we might as well be friends. What? Pass. Aw, what? Fine. So, since you like items so much, you wanna hear what I have to say about them? Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, I know it seems rather abrupt, but from here on out, every single item I would consider very useful, even if only situationally. What can I say? The game is packed with amazing and well-designed useful items. And what's more useful than an item that's only used to help you get better items? Well, those better items. The quarter. A shiny quarter. A shiny quarter. Useful for anything that requires a shiny quarter. I was really debating on how high this item should really be. On one hand, it's one of the most iconic items, the first item, and one of the most used items. But all it really does is give you a B soda and a zesty bar, so while I did want to put it a bit higher, I decided the next couple items need a bit more recognition. The quarter is the most prevalent item in the game, spawning in one, two, three locations. But doing bad math makes one of those unavailable since Baldi gives it to you. The third quarter spawns randomly in the hallway and it actually has the same spawn locations as the bully. This one coin adds tons of RNG to the game and it makes it so that your planned route won't always work. Especially if you need that coin. I'm looking at you, Null style. It's also necessary to get a ton of these if you're going for the principal's office ending in party style, as you can only get the mysterious teleportation device from the vending machines, meaning that the quarters are a lot more common in party. Of course, vending machines aren't the only thing 25 cents can grant you access to. You can also use this phone thing at the bottom right corner of the school that acts as a Baldi's least favorite tape. Why would you use this? Exclusive to Plus, they have another use, unlocking coin doors. I don't know if these things are rare or something, but I feel like I never actually see one in game. And if I have, I clearly didn't use it because why would I? Unless it's down a long hallway, there will probably be another path close by. I'm not exactly sure why I love this simple item so much, but it really adds a lot to the schoolhouse, and I love what they bring to the table. Of course, what they do bring to the table is two much better items, like I said, so. Making distance from Baldi is the most important thing in this game. Entering a room, grabbing a notebook, and leaving takes a lot of precious time and stamina, so anything that can make sure that Baldi isn't going to catch up to you for a while is a must-have. And for the worst of these distance-making items, the swinging door lock. You need to collect two notebooks. Place this on any swinging door to lock it for a few seconds, preventing anyone from coming through. Keep in mind that people can still see through locked swinging doors. I felt really weird putting this item so low as it's a pretty rare item in Classic, only appearing once. But in plus, it was demoted a little bit, only being worth 100 YTPs at Johnny's shop. But after I thought about it, it kind of made sense. 
the only reason it was a great item was this long ass hallway in classic that makes Baldi have to walk across the entire school to get to you. And while I'm sure there are other good spots to put it, and plus we'll obviously have a good one every once in a while, it just isn't worth specifically going for it in any other situation. But of course that doesn't make it a bad item, anytime saved is great. And did I mention that placing it here means he has to go pretty much across the entire school? Oh yeah, and it's right next to said door so you'll be going there anyway. Yeah, this hallway is definitely pretty unique. The same thing can obviously be done to Null, but he can just smash through the window so it's not as useful as with Baldi. That being said, I would never pass up getting this lock, even if I end up just dropping it later. Better safe than sorry. One last thing, I haven't been talking much about the designs of these items, because most of them are just real life pictures but compressed a shit ton. But this is the first really interesting design, sort of. It is still a real lock, but for some reason it just kind of freaks me out. It's huge and the colors are completely deep fried to oblivion. It's covered in these bolts or whatever these are that just look unnecessary and this piece of tape, I, I don't know. Something about the swinging door lock just makes me uncomfortable. It, it just looks kind of uncanny, you know? I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. Let me know if I'm alone on this or not. Two items in the schoolhouse were made just to be a device to unlock an ending and an item second, leaving them feeling a little like an afterthought and not a fully fleshed out concept. But of course, I am mostly talking about the poster portal. If there's a room on the other side, place this on the wall to get through. A super technology invented by Baldi himself. I don't want to say this is a bad item, it is an interesting idea, but the use case is very limited. Sure it makes a permanent shortcut, but that means Baldi can enter through it as well. It would be so much better if it was a one time use and you could actually lose Baldi through it. Uh, actually, originally no one, not even Baldi, could chase you through the portal, which, well that doesn't make a lot of sense. God, this item got so much worse with one simple update. But as it is, it's a pretty good rare item. A good way to use it would be to enter a room, use the dirty chalk eraser to lose Baldi, and then place the poster portal to travel a far distance without being detected. And of course, you can always use it as a permanent escape route from detention. Now for the main reason this item is so good. After getting it in Classic Remastered from completing all the bonus questions, which is a super hard challenge you have to do three times, you can unlock Baldi's basement and the bladder easter egg. An item that allows you to see some of the best secrets in this game, who really cares if you won't use it all the time? Some of the items in this game are unanimously tied to the series. What I mean is that when you think of Baldi's basics, these are the items that pop into your head. And I believe that the safety scissors are one of those classic items everyone pictures. W wait, what do you mean it was added in an update? Let's play. Ooh, that makes me sad. Slice through anything with these high-end safety scissors. Actually, these are the dullest scissors ever made and can only cut through jump ropes, bubblegum, and cheap wires. A counter for two of the most annoying characters in these games and it's a super common item? Uh, yeah, this is definitely deserving of this spot. You can also use it on first prize, but that's only really useful if he's pushing you right towards Baldi. Yet another reason the boots are useless. It's not an item that you want to seek out and hold on to, it's just something that you pick up if you have an open slot that can get you out of some more annoying situations. Sure, maybe it's a bit too high and if I played more plus it might be way lower, but they're just so useful and classic to the point where they might be one of my most used items. And did I mention that they can get you out of Beans, Gum, and Playtime's Jump Rope game? Yeah, never mind, these should be even higher. I'm sorry for shitting on hiding so much in this video, but it isn't really all that useful outside of a few specific situations for me. And that's why all but one hiding item is so low. But I'll give you this, the Dirty Chalk Eraser is a simple but perfect item. Create a cloud of chalk dust to block off the sight of Baldi and his friends. Stand inside to hide or use it to sneak past characters without them even seeing you. Baldi right behind you? Enter a room and throw it down. Prince of the thing preventing you from running? Throw it down! Beans being... Beans? Throw. It. Down. This item has exactly one use. Disappearing. But that one use is perfect for a game like this. Outside of Null, it is never directly necessary for anything, which is why they don't even appear in demo style. But if you see one in a room and Baldi is gaining on you, you might as well use it to earn some free distance. Beware of Chalkles though, this is the one situation where he might actually be a threat. But using it in a room without a chalkboard removes the potential of that happening anyway. These are the main gimmick of Sneaky Challenge, but I am not even touching that until there is a real reward for completing it. But it looks like a fun challenge, all things considered. And that's all I got. The Dirty Chalk Eraser is a super underrated item that you should definitely pick up on your next trip to Baldi's schoolhouse. Just don't sneeze. I'm bored. What? Really? 
Oh, uh, wait for me. No escaping detention. Ah, uh, never mind. I need good still in detention. <laughs> Another one of those ending first item second items, this one is definitely a lot more fleshed out and useful, although it is very rare, even in plus. Of course, I'm talking about the dangerous tele- ah! Ah! Holy shit, you almost smashed right into me, you beautiful robot! I could marry you right now! Marry me? Oh, uh, uh not right now, I have to escape the tension, but, uh, but later, I, I promise. Uh, thank you, first prize! I am Finally! Uh-oh, uh, I better hide. <sighs> well, how is this much better than detention? Whatever, I got a list to complete anyway. Like I was saying, the dangerous teleporter. Use this and there's no telling where you'll end up. It could take you to safety or certain doom. Now that's what I call fun. This thing rocks! Well, it isn't the most strategic item as it just randomly sends you somewhere in the school just like arts and crafters in the whirlpool, but this you can actually control. So it's more of a panic button, just in case Baldi is right behind you and you're stuck in a corner. Even then, this thing is really good. Sometimes that random teleport is all you need. And just like the poster portal, the dangerous teleporter has endings attached to it. Three endings, in fact. Two of them are just the Null and Baldi variants of the office ending. But that third one, if you use the teleporter after activating the ending in party style, is so cool. And well hidden, as I never even knew it existed until Remaster came out. Oh, and design-wise, this is pretty cool. It looks to have the same technology as the You Can Think pad, which probably means that Baldi made it. And that, along with the color scheme, makes the name very fitting. This is, in fact, dangerous looking. Complete with a shiny red button. Ooh. The only reason this item isn't in the top 5 is because of how rare this thing really is. I swear I've never seen it in plus outside of Johnny's shop, even though it's only 100 YTPs. And as an ending item, you can only get it in party style from vending machines, and you obviously aren't going to want to use them. But even then, the dangerous teleporter is a lot of fun and also very nerve wracking to use, and I like it a lot. Yet another classic item, and one that does the simplest thing ever. But sometimes, less is more as completely filling up your stamina bar over where it usually can go is one of the best things an item can do in a game like this. Oh, sorry, it's the energy flavored zesty bar. No eating food in the- No running in the halls. Eat one of these and get a boost of energy. Fills up your stamina more than you can by just taking a rest. Stamina is the worst in any game. I mean, I get why it's here and I don't want it taken out or anything, but god, I hate stamina systems so much. So an item that allows you to not worry about it for a while is a dream come true. And it's pretty common too, being found on the map and in vending machines. Especially in Plus, these machines are everywhere in Plus, like seriously. I don't have much to say about the Zesty Bar, that's kinda it. It's a great item, simple enough. What's better than just being able to run for a long time? Just rapidly getting pulled to your destination way faster than you can run, with the ability to use it five times. The grappling hook. Fire this baby at faraway walls to quickly get pulled towards them. Can get you out of sticky situations quick. Definitely the most iconic plus item so far. This thing earns that title. Like, do I even have to say anything else? Like, it's pretty self-explanatory why the grappling hook is a great item. It has its own challenge mode, which I am not playing, and one of the best item designs. It's actually 3D model, and it genuinely looks really great. It was in the plus demos as well, but had this 2D design, and wow, what a glow up. The line has no limit and can go as far as you need, and if you fire multiple shots, you'll go even faster. Just be careful, as it's surprisingly easy to get caught on something, and if you do, you'll be stuck there for an annoying amount of time. At least until the line decides it's time to break. Aside from that, you probably aren't going to see it outside of Johnny's shop, so make sure you have the points to afford it. Or else you'll be walking like the rest of us. Five uses. Yeah, that's definitely going to be nerfed. Okay, so it's the big old boots, but actually good. The faculty name tag. The Experience what it's like to work in Baldi's super schoolhouse. When you have this on, no one will bother you. Well, except for Baldi, he, he knows a fake name tag when he sees one. Let me break down for you just how amazing this item really is. When you use it, for 30 seconds, Playtime, Beans, It's a Bully, Arts and Crafters, Chuckles, Miss Pomp, and even Principal of the Thing completely ignore you. Do I have to elaborate? Yes, I do. 
This item is rare, but can be found pretty commonly in the libraries, and it even appears in demo style. It's guaranteed that one will spawn in a faculty-only room. This is probably the best visuals any item has. It's a simple white pin with the text, Hi, I'm faculty on it. And when you use it, it spins around on your screen until your time is up. And I don't know, man, I just think it looks so cool. But it helps that most of the other items are just pictures of stuff. Whenever you find this thing in plus, you have to pick it up. I mean, even if it is just to throw it on, I mean, it's useful pretty much in any situation. Well, sort of. The only characters it doesn't affect are the ones that can be avoided with the big old boots, so they aren't completely outclassed in every way. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course they still are! It's the big old boots! Today, we've seen plenty of items that help you get away from Baldi, and items that help you gain tons of distance from Baldi, but we haven't seen any items that save you from death from Baldi. AND do all of that! An apple for Baldi is the most unique item in the series, hands down. An apple? For me? Thanks! Yum. Give this to Baldi and he won't be able to resist taking a quick break to scarf Yum. it down. Only found in trees outside that you'll need a grappling hook to grab, and Johnny shot for 250 points. God damn! This apple will be taken from your inventory automatically once Baldi catches you. Instead of getting a game over, he will rapidly eat the apple with just, just the best sound effects. Yum. And 15 seconds later, he'll be back on his way to teach you a lesson. It can also be seen on Baldi's desk after defeating Null, replacing the iconic floating banana, proving that bananas are just evil apples. I feel bad that the last few items on this list I hardly have anything to say about, but it is way harder to talk about something incredibly useful as opposed to something that I genuinely really don't like. I mean, what else is there to say besides that they are amazing and easily some of the best items in the game? Not much, but all that changes with the first place item. I'm not even gonna pretend like you don't already know what it is. The beef soda. No drinking drinks in the hall. Open a can of fizzed up beef soda and spray anyone who's trying to get in your way. Ingredients. Blue, high fructose corn syrup, electricity, and 2% or less of water. Blue too. According to Mistman, beef soda tastes like blue, fizz, and aluminum. So pretty much like all sodas. Using one of these shaken sodas does exactly what that description says. Push back anyone as far as it can take them. It can travel through walls, so don't even worry about it getting cancelled out early. I don't think anyone will challenge me when I say that this is the most useful item. I mean, you constantly want one of these in your inventory, and you pretty much do with how many of these are in the game. A total of three counting the vending machines. That is crazy. You can use it to push Baldi away so you can grab a notebook, run for an exit, or just get a little distance. It doesn't only push Baldi, but there is no real point and using it on anyone else, especially not the principle of the thing as you are sent to detention for using it. The idea for the B soda actually comes from the classic blue screen of death that plagued early Windows computers. That's why the slogan for the brand is Restart, Refresh. A very well-known occurrence of it was in Sonic's Schoolhouse, Baldi's main inspiration, where the game would sometimes blue screen your whole PC while closing the game. Also, blue screen of death. That is such a good pun, man. You can also spot a B soda next to Baldi's computer, which has blue screened in that fake error message. Just really pounding that joke into you, huh? There is also an achievement tied to this item. You get B Soda Pro for pushing four characters at once. It sounds tough, but I got it from just playing the game and using the B soda. I'm sure you'll get it eventually, it's nothing to grind for. And for one last cute detail relating to this item, the packaging for the Baldi mystery figures came in a cylindrical box designed after the B soda, and I think that really goes to show how iconic this simple item really is. The B soda is obviously the best item in Baldi's basics. It is useful beyond belief, and letting off a tactical push against Baldi is always so satisfying and scary with how close he can get at times. Just like I said in the last video, I'm not sure how fun this game would be without it. Oh, look at that! I finished just in time! Oh, hey there! I was totally in detention the whole time! <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh... Hi? Ah, stay away from me! Huh? Oh. Well, that was... Convenient.